What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Lockdown Career Mode. This is episode number 23 and today we're returning with five more games with Nottingham Forest as we take on Derby County in the last 16 of the EFL Cup in an East Midlands Derby. Then Newcastle United away from home. Have they had their takeover yet? I guess we'll find out. West Ham at home, Everton at Goodison Park and then we wrap up with Manchester City at home as well. Five huge games in the Cup and the League. Let's just get straight to it. So first of five games today, and it's another East Midlands derby as we take on Derby County away at Pride Park, going for a place in the last state of the Carabao Cup. And whilst goals have been a problem for us lately, we're changing our formation back to the 4-2-3-1 tonight, and it's a real opportunity for fringe players to impress and show they should be starting in the Premier League. First game, it's Derby County. You know, considering our record, it might not be a bad idea to play for a penalty shootout tonight. We're just, we're just so composed from 12 yards, man. This is a mentally strong Nottingham Forest team. Big chance for Josh King tonight as well. Scored on his debut against Brighton, but since then, no goals for Nottingham Forest tonight. Great opportunity to bag a couple of them. As Yates is going to try and send him through. And there he is right on cue. But his shot is skewed and goes wide the post. The striker's low on confidence. You always keep thinking to yourself, when is that next goal going to come? Well, I believe tonight it could. As Laurenti down the left. Beats Jaden Bogle and puts him on the floor. And oh, Scott Carson denies him with a great save. You know, he was impressive against West Ham. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Brazilian early. As Fry's header is cleared. He he's so skillful. Yates to King and a great chance for a break here with Jay to him and he'll find him and it's the young man, Jay Bell, golden chance, really should take it and he doesn't, clips the top of the crossbar and that just sums us up right now, even with easy chances I just can't score, I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, I really don't, every time I run through one on one I keep thinking I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss I've got no confidence. One of those games where I just can't blame anyone but myself. Had the chances. That man's exhausted trying to cope with Laurenti, but as the camera pans to Josh King, it looks like we're set for another game without a goal. Across the middle, which Fry heads clear. You know, once again, defensively, we've been great. That is not a problem for us in any game. We are so strong defensively, but we just can't score. Laurenti sent down the left-hand side. Jaden Bogle covering, and he'll beat the right back. And sliding King, who's onside. Oh, come on! Diangana to Yates. And Yates to Bell to Ryan. Yates! Yes, finally! Finally! Captain tonight rescues us with eight minutes to play. Finally! Well, Josh King remains stuck on one. We still haven't won any game apart from the one against Brighton by more than a single goal. But again, I'll say it, our defence is what sees us through. Of course, I want to score more goals, but I don't want to compromise our defensive ability. I love how solid we are. And if we just advance one day in the calendar, I think we should be able to see the draw for the last day of the Carabao Cup, where we'll be three games away from Wembley. So, yep, let's find out who we've got together then in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. It's going to be Forest against... Brighton. Brighton in the last eight. Manchester United versus Everton. Burnley versus Man City and Wolves versus Fulham. And do you know what? Even though we've been fielding weakened teams so far, I might pick a strong lineup for that. I think we've got a chance of going all the way, you know. Certainly a chance of reaching the final. And Ollie Watkins has just come to me telling me he's concerned about some of the speculation surrounding him. He wants me to give him another chance and prove that he's the best man for the job. And Ollie, you'll get the chance, mate, no doubt about it. But three goals in ten for last year's Golden Boot winner and record breaker in the championship. Come on, mate. You've got to start scoring again. And as we've just entered November, let's take a look at our scouting update and an academy update too. We're from our first month of scouting Scotland. I have to say, early signs are not good at all. Malcolm Strachan could be alright, as could Barry McDonald, but uh, I don't think they're making the academy just yet. And as for that academy, four players here. I think Morgan Bell is the most exciting of the lot, but again, the overall is quite poor. 
No, no Marcos, no Masons, no Jays at the moment, unfortunately. So second game of five today as we travel to the northeast to take on Newcastle United away at St. James's Park. Have they had their takeover yet? Well, I'm not entirely sure. But right now, five wins in their first 10, 16 points on the board. And already in the top 10, it's been a decent start for the Magpies. But for us, the lowest score is in the Premier League, which is six so far. We really need Ollie or Josh or someone out there to get us a couple of goals. Fun team though, isn't it? Really fun team. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, John Stones, Reese James as English players that have come in for them. I like the Longstaff brothers Stein in the middle of the park together as well. Very fun lineup this one. Good matchup, isn't it? You know, our young English team versus their young English team. Should be a good one here. As Marco finds Saka and away goes one of those youngsters down the left-hand side as he's going to try and outpace Reese James and storm into the area and James lets him go and there's Marco Vandenberg who should have opened the score in. There's one highlight that could sum up the start of the season so far. It's that one. You know, the movement is good. We get great chances, but the finishing touch just simply isn't there. Yet, as King finds Ollie. And Watkins has to offload to King. And Josh King hits the post. Come on! Watkins trying to find Josh King, and he does. But we'll need a teammate. And he'll find Travis. And now Watkins to Cash. And a great chance here. Matty Cash. Oh, my word. Watkins. And it's saved again. What have I got to do to score a goal? It just feels like it's going to be one of those seasons for us, you know. I know it's our debut year in the Premier League, but couldn't have asked of us to perform better defensively. But when going forward, just it's not working. As DCL finds Longstaff, good block, and he's got it straight back, and Samba bails me out. What a save. Marco to Samba, and away we go on the break here. There's men out wide. One is Marco, the other is Bakayo. And it's Saka with space to cross. Still Saka. Dinks it. War Prowse, there it is. JWP6 finally gives us the goal, and we're off the mark. Come on. Saka's throw, finds King. And King's done so well to control that and find Travis. And there's Watkins. Oh, and Freddie Woodman today has been brilliant. That's a lovely ball forward. And Mason trying to catch up on DCL. Joe Warrell with a brilliant block there. And, you know, you can criticise our attack as much as you want. The one thing you can't criticise are the boys in our back line. We are just so in sync defensively. Arnold, nice ball through. So, Maximine off the post. Or Prowse to Watkins. Nice touch. And a break is started with Sam Basso turning and finding Travis. And out wide is Bakayo Saka. And a great chance here for the former Arsenal man to get his first goal for the club. Which he does. Saka makes it two. And finally, we've added to the goals tonight. The left back scores his first. It's 2-0. I mean, it had to happen at some point, surely. Trow is playing a great through ball to him. And our number 77 storming into the area and drilling it in. I've seen a few comments from you guys saying, Saka could be like your Gareth Bale. Starting off at left back, but then gradually phasing him further forward as he develops more of an offensive game. That's a really good shout. Free kick for Forrest. James Ward-Prowse standing over it. You know how bad I am from knees, but you know what? I fancy my chances there. I do. 22 yards, relatively central. I'm going to go for that top corner. It's JWP. It's a good effort. Oh, it's off the post. It's off the post. Well, we should have scored five, six goals tonight, but you know what? It was two, and that's better than normal. I'll certainly take it. Once again, though, another clean sheet. I'll say this now. Mark my words. We will end up with the best defensive record in the Premier League once it's all said and done. Nobody can break us down. Great game, though. Newcastle United's team, so fun. Our team, so fun. I'm, I'm going to enjoy Newcastle United's progression during this save. I think they could become our main rivals. And man of the match to Saka, he was superb at both ends of the pitch today. And he also set up one and scored one as well. Best performance in a Forest shirt so far for the teenage wonder kid. So third of five games today as we now take on West Ham, who are high-flying right now. Eight wins in 11 games. 
and sat in fourth place too as the in-form surprise package this season. But for us, after that latest victory, we've now jumped into the top 10 and are only three points off Chelsea in sixth place. It's been a great start, six unbeaten for Forest. Let's make it seven unbeaten and pick up another big three points here. It's hard to make changes as well when you're not losing games. Like, there's no need for us to change our system or change too many players in our lineup as well because we're not, we're not losing. You know, in the top 10 right now, for a newly promoted side, it's been a very impressive start. I also got one of the best defensive records in the division. But I'm going to give Tyrese Campbell the nod tonight, up top alongside Ollie Watkins, as Jay Bell. Oh, as his shot saved by Darren Randolph. And I think the problem is really, we're creating the chances, we're just not scoring them. Watson just blocked a ferocious shot there, and that's now going to lead to a counter attack too, as Travis finds Ollie. Quick little flick to Ward Prowse, and out wide is the speed to Matty Cash. Down the right hand side, golden chance here to make it 1 0, which really we should do. It's Lewis Travis, and there it is. Travis's second goal this season already, and I said it in the last episode as a box to box. You can't find a fault with our number eight. He's the heartbeat of this team. And that all started with a Mason Watson block at the other end. We go on the counter, Matty pegs it back to Travis arriving for his second goal of the season. I think he could get six or seven this year. He's always making late runs into or on the edge of the area, and he's got the technical ability to finish the chances too. I love this kid. Stan looking for a chance to find a leveler here, and he might do so. And again, who's there to block the shot? Mason Watson. Second or possibly third in 23 minutes. If anyone justifies the cool nickname, The Rock, it's definitely him as that volley by Lanzini goes over the bar. Bowen tackled by Travis. He's brilliant, man, on both ends of the pitch. Going forward and defending at the back. He's just an absolute warrior. Well, this will be a huge three points if we can hold on to it. Half time, that man's given us the lead. 45 minutes away from back-to-back -back victories. Watson intercepts and wins it back for us. He's had an absolutely brilliant game, Mason. It's been another fine performance from him. He's taken to life in the Premier League so well. And he's just absolutely superb. Great ball out wide too to find Cash. And there's Ward Prowse. And there's Ollie Watkins to make it two. Yes! Ollie Watkins breaks the drought. 2-0 Forest. Second goal that's come from Mason Watson at the back as well intercepting, winning it back, playing it long, and as Ollie was sent forward one-on-one, -on -one, I know he's only scored three, well now he's got four, fires it past Darren Randolph, into the roof of the net, 2-0, Nottingham Forest. Oh, and they've given the ball away, West Ham, they're capitulating now, it's Tyrese Campbell, oh yes, Dad would be proud of that one, right from kickoff, West Ham surrender possession, Campbell round Randolph, it's free. Mason out wide to Cash. And now JWP a player 1 2 with him. And away he goes to right back. He's beating his man. It's a great chance. It's Cash. He'll need a teammate to cross to. He'll hang one up. And Travis nods it in for a fourth. Where has this come from, Forrest? Best performance of the season, and it's not even close. About bloody time we had a performance like this too. Solid at back once again. That's what our game's built on, but going forward, four goals in the game. About time. I thought we were ruthless today. Absolutely ruthless. Every time we went forward, we looked like scoring. Seven shots, every single one hit the target, and four of them went in too. Can you tell what we were working on in training? It was shooting drills every single day. And I can't just give the champagne to one player. Everyone deserves a glass after that. Mason and Warren were great. Saka and Cash superb at the back too. Travis got two. JWP got two assists. Watkins and Campbell got a goal each. Everyone was brilliant. Couldn't have asked for a better team performance. And whilst I might be buzzing and gleaming after that big victory, I do need to remind myself we're only 12 games into the season. We're not even a third of the way through the campaign yet, and there's plenty more football to come. Plus, our next two games after the international break, Everton away at Goodison Park, and then Manchester City, the only undefeated side left in the division. 
much tougher tests to come. And so let's jump into the first of our final two games today and the penultimate one of this episode as we do take on Everton away at Goodison Park. Not the best of starts of the season under Carlo Ancelotti but they still have a superb team and it's never an easy place to go Goodison. So fourth game of five today. Let's see if we can keep the unbeaten run going and make it eight without defeat. Everton are such a strange team in FIFA career mode for me. I don't know whether you guys find them to be the same but it seems like one season they have an outside shot at a title or maybe they're in the top four and then the next season they're struggling to survive. You just you just never know what Everton you're gonna get in your save. Watch the through ball, watch the through ball, watch the through ball. What a shot. What a fake shot. Well done Mason. And again he's just a bloody rock. I love this kid man and he's set up an attack here on the break. Oh, wonderful ball by Trouse. He's onside. You can stick your fat hand up there, mate. He's onside, and he's just scored a sensational goal. Two in two for Tyrese Campbell. And then once again, it all starts from Mason at the back. Once again, it all starts from Mason Watson at the back. Travis is through ball. Tyrese onto it, and he pulls a Josh King and chips it over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net. And goes the cross, but who's there to head it away? You know, I was thinking, 17-year-old kid, first test of Premier League football this season. I wonder if you can stand up to the pressure. Stand up to it? Guy's been a bloody monster. As Tyrese on the ball finds Watkins... And Ollie's going to have a go from range. Oh, off the post and War Prowse is. Thanks, Ollie. I'll turn it in. 2 0, Forrest. I'll take the luck. Oh, poor Ollie Watkins. He thought he'd scored a contender for goal this season. But I guess he'll certainly take the assist in Fantasy Premier League. James War Prowse can't miss from that range. It's 2 0, Nottingham Forest. Right now, Sod West Ham, we're the informed team in the Premier League. It's going to get tougher, there's no doubt about it. We've got some very, very tough fixtures coming in December, including right before the month of December, Manchester City at home, our fifth and final game today. And right now, as you can see, they're now tuning up on Aston Villa. Luka Modric doubles the score there. We know that's going to be a very, very hard game to get anything from. But at the moment, with the boys at the back defending so well, I... I fancy our chances. I really, really do. This will be nine games unbeaten. Uh, sorry, eight games unbeaten if we can hold on to this result here. I, I fancy our chances of being the first team to beat Man City this season. If we keep playing like this, we certainly will be. Corner for Forrest. Whipped into the middle. And up it goes. It will drop to Sam So I'm looking for him. You know I am. Mason Watson. What I'd do to see him score his first Premier League goal. Oh, well, he got it on target. He got it on target. Worth a go, kid. Worth a go. Nottingham Forest are hitting their stride and then some. The unbeaten run extended to eight games. It's our best run of form in the season. And for the boys at the back, another clean sheet. Unbeatable. But we know what's right around the corner. Manchester City, the only unbeaten side left. What a battle it's going to be. However, we're the informed team in the division. It's probably a battle between the best two teams for form right now. I, I can't wait, man. Mason and the boys are going to be tested like crazy. But I believe, I believe. Come on, Nottingham Forest. So this is it. It's the big one. It's what we've been building up to. Nottingham Forest at home to Manchester City. We're the informed team right now. Unbeaten in eight and now up to eighth place. But for Manchester City, just one point behind their rivals, Manchester United. And the only unbeaten side left in the Premier League. This is going to be our biggest test yet. It's our fifth and final game. It's the big one. It's Manchester City at the City Ground. Not hard to see why Manchester City are undefeated to start the season off, is it? I mean, that midfield trio and then the front three as well. Yeah, it's it's going to be our biggest test so far, I think. No doubt about it. Modric down the left-hand side as Aguero in the middle. But the Croatian takes it on himself and finds Raheem Sterling. And now it's Aguero. And there's the first. Eight minutes is all it takes for the Argentine to give the visitors the lead. Mason just allowed Aguero to get a step in front of him. And once he was past him, he was always going to find the back of the net. It's only his second of the season so far, but already a goal down. Worst possible start. It's okay. It's all right. Let's not panic. You know, we've been amongst the goals of late. We haven't said that many times this season, but we have done very well recently. So let's keep ourselves calm. Still firmly in this. Sterling shot down by the rock. 
And we shall get the danger away here with Matty down the right hand side. And you can hear the Forest fans going, go on, as he tries to outpace Raheem and send through Oli Watkins. Is the flag down? Oh, no, it's up. It's up. He's offside. I thought he was on there, Watkins, but clearly not. 20 minutes into the game. This is going to be such a great match. KDB, the Belgian, trying to get round Sam Vasso. Sterling down the left finds KDB, the Belgian. And now back to Rodri, the anchor in this team, as Luka Modric turns Sam Vasso and puts him on the floor and beats Travis. Brilliant. Mares, two. Absolutely brilliant. Went to ground a couple of times. Dived in, trying to block a through ball. But the composure, the weight, the patience, it's yeah, just too good. First so, then Travis. But Modric just has that low centre of gravity. And if there's one player that never panics with a ball at his feet, it's Luka Modric. He's got such poise, such composure, such balance. And, and Mares makes it too. I, I have to say, I knew this was going to be the toughest game of the season. But already you can see why they're unbeaten so far in the Premier League. They just look a cut above right now. There's absolutely no shame in losing our unbeaten run against a team who are still unbeaten themselves all through the season. But it'll be a real shame if they score four, five, six goals today and absolutely thrash us because we're better than that. We're better than that. It's been a tough first staff, but yeah, there's, there's still plenty of time here. As Saka finds Travis. And I'll try and send him through a great ball. And Saka's onto it. And Watkins just couldn't turn in the rebound. Edison does enough. And War Prowse's effort is blocked. That's why they're unbeaten. Unstoppable when going forward. And rock solid at the back. Half time, 2 0. But we're still in this. Just one of those games where you won't get many chances. So you need to take the ones you get. Really should have finished that. Watkins just seems to lose his bearings a little bit after the rebound. But he has looked good out there for us today, to be fair. His movement's been very good. And that's great from Jay Bell. And Watkins just couldn't beat Laporte. I think we'll get another chance. But if we get it, we've got to take it. So, start to break and finds James Ward-Prowse. And Watkins needs to make the right run here. I'll hold it up and wait for a teammate in support. Cash, Ward-Prowse. And I just, I just can't get away. I just can't get away today. The things that normally work haven't worked. And instead, it's now City on the break. Mason's got three blue shirts to defend against. And he had no chance, did he? He had absolutely no chance. Modric drills it in. It's free. Aguero with Watson to beat. He has beaten him. And if it wasn't for Samba, it would have been four. This has been a tough but humbling and necessary lesson today. You know when some people have a little bit of success and they just get a bit too cocky, a bit too big for their boots... I think that's been us in recent weeks. This is what we needed here. A wake-up call. Something to remind us. We are far from a finished article. 4-0. This isn't what we wanted, but this is what we need. Humbled. Embarrassed. But I think exactly what our players needed. A wake-up call out there today. We haven't won anything yet. It's our first season in the Premier League. Got to calm ourselves down. No shame in losing our unbeaten streak to the team that is still undefeated themselves. 4-0 the final score. Scoreline might be a bit harsh on us, but they were just absolutely lethal today. And if there was one player that stood out amongst everyone else today, it was the Croatian. One goal and two assists with 100% passing for Luka Modric. That guy is world class. And that will end today's episode of the Lockdown Career Mode as well, guys. So a massive thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did enjoy today's episode, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the next episode featuring the EFL Cup quarterfinal against Brighton very soon.